This is Dabu7 with an earthquake update. Looking here at the global incident map, we can see that we've had a 6.6 .6 to 6.7 earthquake strike down here in the South Sandwich Islands region. Now, this is the area that I dubbed the Serpent Heads, and this is connected to the Atlantic Ridge that you can see that moves along here. Oftentimes, we will see connected action, whether it's up in through here, out this way, or up through this ridge line all the way up to Iceland. Now, what's interesting is in the last video, I was talking about the potential for some activity in this region. Now, since then, when this went quiet, we've seen the swarm come back to the islands, and we've seen some normal type of releases in terms of mid-range activity. Magnitude 5 there in Colombia. There's, there's a plate here that gets pinched constantly. And I would much rather see fives being let loose in this region than it going quiet for an extreme amount of time and then a big one coming out of here. Also, the pinch point here in Chile is another area that we watch going all the way down. Now, when it comes to the United States here in the past 24 hours, Alaska was seeing the brunt of the earthquakes, the bigger ones coming out here into the waterway. And once again, ending down in this area, with this remaining silent, this area having no earthquake activity for a long time and knowing that if you go back and you look at the maps that show where the continents used to be together and then they tear apart and to where they are today, there used to be a big island that came floating up and impacted and crashed into this area. Very interesting history, but there's no quake activity along this section until you get down here toward the Cascadia, which we're always watching as well. And we can see down in here, some decent mid-range activity. This is going along with the average swarming that we see in Southern California. But the one that really catches my attention is this one. We have been seeing an uptick in earthquake activity around the New Madrid in Tennessee, into the Appalachian chain, now off the coast of New York. So I'm going to go down here real quick. Go to six hours ago. That is southeast of Southampton, New York. That is a shallow quake that just took place right there at 7.1 kilometers depth, right off the coastline, and we're not used to seeing quakes hit in this area so it's something to watch if we see any more i'll update but as far as the latest earthquake update these are the most significant quakes that you see here on the map with this being the largest i don't see any tsunami information at the moment but then again it's out here in a remote area even if there was a tsunami it more than likely would not affect many places but going to keep an eye on extended activity up this ridge off the east coast of the United States and into this region. Okay. I'll leave links below. This has been Dabu7. Peace.